two minute tutor here. We're looking today at temperature rise. Temperature rise is usually referenced with a furnace. Every furnace has a data plate on it and that data plate says what the temperature rise should be through that furnace when it is generating heat. Every furnace has a return air and a supply air and the air going in is going to be much cooler than the air coming out so that we can heat the room or the uh, home or residence up. Now, as the air moves through the furnace, it's going to pick up heat off of the heat exchanger. And as it picks that heat up, it's going to be in the form of sensible heat so it can be registered on a thermometer. And if it can be registered on a thermometer, then that means it's sensible heat. So, every furnace has a temperature rise that is uh, written on its data plate that tells a range of temperatures such as 35 to 65 degrees that range of temperature in which the furnace should be operating. In other words, as the air enters the return air in, at the fan section on the, on the furnace, it should elevate to a temperature approximately 35 to 65 degrees higher than what it came in at. Now, if it comes in at that range, and we're going to use, for instance, 35 to 65 degrees, if it comes in at that range, then we know that the furnace is operating properly as far as the airflow through it. That it's getting the proper CFM so that it can uh, get rid of the heat that is being generated within that furnace. So, let's say that we have a furnace here, and here's our return air, we'll call that RA, and our supply air, SA. If the return air is coming in at 70 degrees, if we have a temperature rise on our data plate of 35 to 65 degrees, then that means that the air exiting out, if it's in the uh, proper amount, it should have a temperature of approximately, on this side, 105 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. If the temperature rise is too high, we're not getting enough air. If the temperature rise is too low, we're getting too much air. We look for problems such as dirty filters, plugged or blocked return air and supply airs as usually being problems that cause high temperature rise. Low temperature rise is usually caused by fans that are moving too much air through the system. So once again, temperature rise. The amount of elevation in the heat or heat added to the return air uh, as it exits out of the supply air. And why is that important? Because it tells us if we have the proper CFM. Thanks, Two Minute Tutor, out.